Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Okay, so in this video I'm going to show you five ways you can wear the Speedy B25. So the first way would be crossbody since I already have it on the setting. I'm just going to go ahead and put it on. And like I said, I am 5'10 for reference, so really tall and I'm heavy chested and it still works for me. I'm able to put it on. I don't feel uncomfortable. It doesn't, you know, like dig too far that is uncomfortable. But this is how it looks on me, crossbody. It fits perfect at my hip. Like absolutely perfect on the longest setting if it's perfect at my hip. I'm able to go into my bag as such with no problems. Um, and that's just how it looks crossbody. All right, so you just do it this way or you can do it crossbody the other way as well, whichever way you prefer. I prefer to have my bags on my right side. I don't know why, it's just a preference to me. Like I said, it fits at my hip, it's not in the way. When I am walking, it doesn't bump into anything and it doesn't stick out too far from my body. My arm is able to relax beside my bag as well. All right, so now I'm gonna show you another way. For all of you top handle only girls out there, if you just wanna take the strap off, I'll show you that as well. And you can hold this bag strictly top handle. And it looks super cute. Super cute. So I'm gonna set my strap down. So if you just wanna hold it strictly top handle, I don't know if I'm tall enough to show you this, but I'm just gonna show you. Like this, this pretend that I'm this short and my arm is long. Top handle. Okay. You can also put this bag in the crook of your arm. This drop strap from the straps is pretty. It's pretty sizable. I'm able to fit it in the crook of my arm as well. This is a super cute look. Okay. All right, so now I'm gonna attach the strap back on and I'm gonna show you how to do it shoulder. So while I'm adjusting this, I guess we can chit chat for a little bit. How are you guys doing? Are you enjoying my content so far? Are you liking my channel? When I tell you this has been a learning experience, for me okay trying to come up with ideas for YouTube wait a minute because obviously I can't talk and try to do this at the same time give me a second try to come up with ideas for YouTube but I am having a blast this is so much fun it's giving me an outlet you know other than wifey mommy world co-worker world it's my little outlet and I am loving it now I'm gonna attach my strap back to my bag and I'm gonna show you how it lays as a shoulder bag so when you do it you kind of if you want it to fit a little bit higher it just depends on you um, I guess I can adjust this to the shortest the shortest setting which would be this hook right here this hole so it can fit a little bit higher to give you that true shoulder bag feel. Okay. And I'm going to attach the other side to this hook as well. All right. So now you can see that my strap is significantly shorter. All right. And this is how it is as a shoulder bag. Like in my last video, I mentioned when I first got my bag, I guess I was feeling myself. I was like... I'm gonna do this as a shoulder bag. I'm gonna be in these streets looking cute. No, man. <laughs> uh -uh. I have to wear this as a crossbody. But this is its shoulder, and it's not too far up in my armpit. You know what I'm saying? You wanna get deodorant, especially in the summertime when you're wearing tank tops. You don't want deodorant on your bag. You don't want your armpit sweating because the bag is too high up in the armpit. Like it fits really comfortable. My arm isn't all out here like it sits it lays comfortable and this is what it looks like and if you want to do it on the other side as well you can and there you go all right 
And those are all the ways I know how to carry this bag unless you guys got some other tips and tricks on how to carry the Sweetie Me 20 pounds. Please let me know in the comments down below. Thank you for watching my video. Bye. <music>